Welcome to Talking Beards, an entertainment news podcast all about the facial hair lifestyle and the people who use their beards and mustaches to help change the world. Join your hosts, World Goatee Champion Aaron D. Johnston and two-time National Goatee Champion Scott Sakura as they talk about all the important issues in the community from charity events, competition news, styling tips, breaking news, and much more. Tune in every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern as we stream live on all social media platforms as well as TalkingBeards.com and answer all of your questions. Join in our chat room and be a part of the show each week as we give away great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. I am your host, Aaron D. Johnston, and I am Scott Sakura, and we are Talking Beards. Oh, hey, steamed peaches. There it was. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is episode number 174 of Talking Beards. Uh, tonight, we'll have Omar Schifrin as the very sexy Scott Sakura let us know in the intro. Um, if you are just now tuning in and you're seeing our faces, don't forget, at the end of this episode, you go back to like the last minute that you missed because, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's definitely worth a listen. I mean, the I don't know when this started or how it even came to be, but... It's it's really nice. And yes, Tyler Johns, this is a club meeting, apparently. So, yeah, I don't know if y'all know this, but we're a club now. Look, no. here we go. Talking Beards is a club. Yeah, so this is a club meeting. So we're doing pretty good. I mean, I we're two for two since Great American. Tuesday, 8 o'clock Eastern, we're having our club meetings. I don't, I, I, I love it. But I don't know about we- you, but I'm Aaron D. Johnston, and I'm here, and I talk with my hands a lot. And go ahead, Scott. And I'm Scott Sakura. And look at this. <laughs> Two weeks in a row, we actually have. I don't know. Had, I, as I said that, I was picking my hands up. I don't know when this started. I don't think I've always done this. I don't like, know either, but. Like we, the last I'm, six months, like it's uncontrollable. It got to, it's, it got so bad. I had to, I had these little signs for my table at competitions. I had to lay them down because I was just constantly knocking them over. But yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Kev, we have Kevin Henderson fishing here too, which is really great. And Eric. What's up, says, Kevin Henderson Hola. fishing? Sean Murphy's here with us. We have all of these club members that are here. We've had more club meetings than any other club has. Is Sean Murphy in our club now? He has to be. All right, Sean Murphy, you're talking beards the club. You better still be here. I think Sean Murphy just hops on, says hello, and he just bounces. He don't even watch our show. I watch. I, I'm calling him know, out. If he if know, he comments again, that means he's still watching. If if Sean Murphy doesn't comment, oh my gosh, he's still here. <laughs> See, look, he has a good beard. He does. I We're like gonna have Sean to get Murphy's Sean beard. on some cool color. Soon. Yeah, see? see, Sean, he watches most of it. Now, I love watching his his show. What nights are, is your show on? Because I feel like his show's on different nights. I love watching your show. W- what day does it come on? Stop like it. That. No, because it. I, I always feel like I'm like just randomly logging in, and it's like kind of there. Isn't it, like a, isn't it Thursday? Yeah, Wednesday or Thursday. I don't know. I feel like I'm making dinner when like, his show comes 8 on. 8 p.m. Eastern. Everyone, uh, find Sean Murphy's show above the bar is that right that didn't feel right all right i said it right so above the bar podcast check it out uh sean's super cool scott's been on there before it was the longest episode in podcast history they said like they two hours yeah it was 42 hours it was crazy <laughs> like i came to work i was listening to it i was at work the whole time i went home i slept i got up scott was still talking it was the craziest thing but it was a good episode nonetheless so, uh, above, Scott Sakura. Yeah. above the bar podcast, above the bar podcast. What have you been up to, sir? Uh, what, what, let's see. It was, we had 4th of July weekend, so mm-hmm. there was extra time off. Um, let's see, we'll go back to Friday. Uh, so my, my job that I have down here in Austin, um, we are moving okay. locations and so we got a brand new shop and, um, we got the keys on Friday, so the bosses took us all there, and we had a huge party in the warehouse. It was 283 degrees because <laughs> um, they they don't Perfect. they just turn the power on like literally when we got there, and there's no air conditioning in the warehouse, and it's a humongous warehouse. 
so they were asking us like all these things like, well, what would you guys want to do with your warehouse? And a couple of guys that work with us are like BMX guys. So they wanted to put like ramps in there. Right. All this cool stuff. And then You're we like, have a couple. I just want couple, air conditioner out here. Yeah. That would have been a good idea. I stupid, you know, realistic me is like, mm-hmm. well, let's get a washer and a dryer out here in a slop sink. I'm like, like trying to think like all logically about things that are going to make work for us be like way easier. And everyone's like, no, we got to get like a pool table and ping pong table. Yeah. Let's get a stripper pole. They did say that too. It was on the list. Smart. Smart. Yeah. But we sounds like we, a good group of guys. Well, they, we, got their we really their heads on their shoulders and stuff. Well, it wasn't like we didn't go stripper pole. We went with a fireman pole because it we wouldn't want to make it seem like you know you want you want firemen sliding down into your shop, not naked ladies. Smart. That's I mean, good thinking. I mean, I would much rather want like fully clothed men in my garage than mostly naked women. Wow. That's good for like work though, because I mean you'd be super distracted if there was like strippers there. But if like firefighters were there, you wouldn't be distracted. You're like, oh, well, we can still wash our windows. There's just firefighters here, and then yeah, they can sure. help because they have hoses. Yeah, Sean Murphy says barber chair. That's a that's a good idea. See, yeah. Sean Murphy, yeah, he's always coming up with the good ideas. Yeah, Tyler Tyler oh. John says, listen, chops are cooler than goatee. False. You remember we that can... time that we liked Tyler John's? Oh, those were the good old days. Well, remember that time when Tyler John's had chops still? Just one? Yeah, just one one singular chop. His whole face was a chop. <laughs> and then he cut it to <laughs> like two a chops. pork chop. That's it. Wow. Full beards yes. are just like chops without the gap. We both have full beards right now. We do. <laughs> Like usually I shave before the show, but like I just I didn't. That was it. Well, <laughs> I, 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 let me explain to everyone why I'm doing this currently. Um, okay, Let's so yeah, and this was something I wanted to talk about like a few weeks ago because it kind of came up. But we got approached by a company. <sighs> That's why you're growing it out. That's yes, smart. it's company Brio who makes the uh, Beardscape. A trimmer set they sent me a set of trimmers to try and since i'm not gonna be shaving this part i wanted to start growing some stuff on the side so i could kind of mess around a little bit with the different uh, attachments to see if i can get a good fade or see how close it shaves um and you can do some trend bart stuff and like make like lightning bolt yeah you know i just want to see what this trimmer can do and they gave us promo code so people can go to their website and order one. But I'm not going to pass that out until I test the actual trimmer because I don't want to make everyone like be like, oh, my God, well, Scott used it. So we should get it. And it sucked. And yeah, I don't right. want that. So I want to make sure that I am that we're we're telling you about a good product. And we want you guys to, you know, if you guys are looking for a uh set of trimmers you know we want to make sure we're telling you the right ones to get so do they have a nose hair trimmer they do oh my god that's what i'm interested in nose hair and ear hair trimmer yeah so here's the nose hair trimmer this i've tried out it looks like a vape pen thing i know it does (laughs) it's like a jewel or something oh nine more yeah listen Sounds like R two D two, just like him. Do you want to see me use it live on the show? Do it. Stick it up your nose. Is it trim? Is it working? I think so. Stick it in your mouth. Don't do it. <laughs> You're stupid. This is exciting. This is the best episode of talk of beers we've ever done. So everybody, go buy the ear trimmer thing. Be good. I don't know. <laughs> probably <I don't> <laughs> we're we're sales people we're it's all so pissed <laughs> scott's pissed uh, uh but yeah so, but, so yeah it was fourth of july your, yeah. your shop was a thousand degrees so that was friday then you man trim yes it trims a man it can work on a woman too could. um you know he's balanced for a, strong a enough for aaron but made for a woman that's it um but uh, yeah, no, we went and saw a couple movies. We went to the Alamo Draft House. Have you ever been to one of those? They're all over the country. I mean, I've been to the basement of it, but I've never actually yeah. been in the Draft House. Yeah, no, it's like a it's a really cool movie theater. They're like really into like 
with the experience and the arts of okay. making film. Hmm. But anyway, it was a really cool place. They have really good food. And it was my first time watching a movie, drinking a beer, and eating food. Like, I couldn't believe it. And people came in and brought you food. It was really, really awesome. You're freaking rich. I know. That's the so, richest thing I've ever heard anyone say ever. The, t- the, the tickets were only nine bucks for the but movie. You had, you had someone serving you food. God, yeah. I can barely serve myself. I know. And uh, so we went and saw The Black Phone, which was a really good movie. Highly recommend it. Like, I, this is really? like the first movie that we've gone to see. I've gone to see in like feels like three years. What well, did I'm, you like about it? We were uh, we were discussing going to see a movie a couple of days, I guess yesterday, and then we decided to not do anything. But that was on our list. We were like, "What is this movie?" And it's it's scary, but like it's it reminds me of like watching movies like years ago. Like it has it's like it has a good storyline, mm-hmm. and it's like it's got a few characters in it, and it's just it's the way it's shot is really cool and this the premise of the movie is interesting but it just if it felt like a movie i've seen like 15 years ago or something like mm. like when the big heyday of like horror movies were like when like coming out. stuff was coming out yeah it feels like but it it, it it takes place in the late 70s so um but it, it, you know it was it was just a very interesting movie but Hmm. So, but that's what we went and saw that. And then we went and saw Top Gun Maverick, which that was a really good movie too, but we I had mean, to watch. Of course, Top Gun would be really good. I, I hear they have really good actors in Top Gun, the movie. Yes. I hear your cousins in the movie. I heard he's in that movie too. That's I probably know. why it's super good. I know. Yep. But, uh, and then, uh, so we'll just leave that there, you know, mm-hmm. food for well, thought. I'm doing. <laughs> Jeff Harris is here. What's up, Jeff Harris? He sounds Howdy, y'all. Howdy, y'all. I'm Jeff Harris. Oh, oh, oh. sorry. That's all good. Uh, but uh, yeah, so and then we went to, uh, we, there was a 4th of July thing yesterday in town. So we went to that last night and I think they had a malfunction with the fireworks and we only got like one firework. It's what it felt like. 20, Pop. maybe 25% of the fireworks we were supposed to get. So where did the rest of them go? They didn't. They just didn't. It just like a bunch of them went off and then it stopped for what like felt like five minutes. And then they had grand finale, which lasted like 30 seconds. Hmm. Maybe they just said, it said screw it. And they just lit them all off at the same time. Oh, Jeff says that's hello in tech or te high in. That's what we put. Oh, te high in. So, but yeah, basically that was my, my whole weekend in a nutshell. And that's good. it didn't really, I mean, it was, it was pretty low keys, went swimming a lot and, uh, but that's it. So, but You're you, merman, you, you, uh, were in a beard competition last weekend or this weekend or something. No, where, where were you? I did it. What, did, what happened? So we've been home. We will be home for like nine straight days, but we'll, we'll leave Thursday, but we didn't do a beard competition last weekend and it felt super weird and I didn't know what to do. Like I had no idea. I just wandered around a lot. Um, we went out to see, we, we talked to our neighbors. That was new. We, wow. We've only done that a couple times. Uh, we went out with the uh, the people who watch our cats in our house while we're gone. We went wash out. Wash your, and wash your cats. Wash, wash your cats. Watch. Oh, sorry. That's you and your, your silly. Oh my gosh. Jim Jones is here. Jim Jones is here. Well, what's up, Jim Jones? So we, Nat, we'll get back to what I've been doing. Natalie and I were talking about this. Jim Jones has... He did a live thing making, what was he making? I don't remember. Baking, I was just, he was baking banana something. Banana bread. Yeah, because he had the oil and the, the bananas, and they were like living in the bowl and stuff. We should have Jim Jones. You should do a uh, cooking with Jim Jones segment. Yep. And what, no, could, just like Thursday. Thursday at 8 o'clock or no, 7 o'clock. Jim Jones, you just, you come on here and you just make something. Whatever you want. And you could have your own show. Cooking with Jim Jones. I think that would be the greatest show anyone has ever watched or put on or anything ever. Sleep sleep on that, Jim Jones. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, we didn't do anything this weekend, really. Like I said, we we went out with a couple people. I went to Dudu's house. That was pretty good. You um, went out with people who put watches on your cat 
Pirates. Yep. <laughs> wow. Um, what else did we do? Dude, we didn't do anything. It was I cleaned on the house and you I mowed the yard. On the house? Yeah, the, like the around top of it, the roof. Mm-mm. Inside. Oh, you cleaned in the house. Yeah, inside. Oh. Inside the house. Natalie made a couple beards. Uh, and then I tried to mow my backyard and the belt decided to not want to be a part of the lawnmower anymore. So I had to go get a new belt and then I got home with the new belt and it was a bazillion degrees. So I put it on this morning and mowed the backyard. The end. I don't think I really did anything. I don't know. It's it, the last few days have been a blur. I did well, talking beards here last week. And then after that, I don't know. I just, yeah, we have not talked at all. Like literally nope. like a couple, like maybe like half a dozen text messages over the whole entire weekend, which is That's odd it. for us. Super weird. Yeah. So like, yeah, we talked last week and then I think we talked a little bit like that first day. And then that was it. Like now we're talking again. <laughs> Cause we're on talking beards. We're on talking beards and we got Omar on the show tonight. And we're going to talk about Omar stuff. But I don't know. You ready to do this? I think we should probably get our super awesome guest on so he can tell us all about all the cool things that are going to be happening this weekend. So let's do it. So do it. tonight we have Omar Schifrin, the bearded monkey himself. He is part of, well, I guess he is the CEO of the Bearded Monkey Social Club, I guess. Uh, he's the eighth annual Midwest Facial Hair Showdown coming up this weekend. Uh, it's it's going to be presented the Horror Ball 2 Prom Night. It's July 9th at Champs Bar and Grill in Wichita, Kansas. Let's get into this thing. What's up, Omar? Nothing. What's going on with you? Oh, pretty well, good. You're the CEO of the Bearded Monkey Social Club. Congratulations. Hey, <laughs> I was I was just founder and president. Now I'm CEO, I, too. Now you're CEO. So now <laughs> someone else can be president if you want. You don't have to deal with that kind of nonsense. Yeah, the CEO just, sit, just sits back and counts the money. That's it. All the Bearded Monkey Social Club money. You get to count yeah, the all. Big, big zero. <laughs> hey all of our money goes to charity we don't have any we don't even have an account <laughs> well, so the accountant too wow this is great he's a ceo, CEO and accountant accountant that's wow so this is the accountant. accountant well she counts to zero yes <laughs> <laughs> there's that's still correct. zero in our account i did it hey there's- i mean we literally had to close our account because they started charging us five bucks and i'm like Nope. So you have to oh, keep a, maintain a balance of two hundred dollars in it. Yeah, and we give it all the. I mean, every penny we get goes back to uh, the charity or us traveling to donate to charity. So there's empty. It's yeah. Gone. Yep. Mm-hmm. Especially with gas these days. Oh my gosh! Good lord. Uh, so what have you been up to, Omar? I haven't really seen you around very much. You've. Uh... You've been um, super busy, I assume, right? Yeah, I'm in the middle of making all the trophies. Um, like I've done uh last seven years. This our yeah. second annual one, I didn't make the trophies for that. The who, who made those the, trophies? The so our first uh charity that we donated to is Heartspring. And the kids that were there, because they serve all special needs from one to eighteen years old. They uh, made the trophies for us. That's pretty That's cool. cool so um, what I did was bought a bunch of canvases and then they gave them the idea of what a full beard is and freestyle and goat chops, all that. And then they they painted what they wanted to paint. And that was the trophies for the categories. So. That's- I think that's a really cool idea. You know, I, there's been other clubs that we've talked to where they've like been like, well, we need ideas for like things like for trophies or something. And, you know, and they're like, well, we want to involve kids. We want to do like a kid or like young adult type of like charity that we're working with. And I'm like, why don't you just get them together and have them like make, help you guys make something. Cause I'm like, it just makes it even more special for them. It gets them involved, you know, and it gets them excited about the event as well. So. Right. Yeah. Well, it was. And so the categories that weren't filled that year, we ended up auctioning off the uh, other trophies slash paintings. Mm-hmm. And 
We came out pretty good. We were that year we were donating to Ron McDonald House of Wichita. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, Chris Badenberg says Bradenberg? this. Yeah, he says that's epic. My younger brother is special needs. That's cool. Heck yeah. <clears throat> What's yep. up, Chris? Yeah, so all of all but number two, I've made all the trophies, either by hand or now with the machine through uh Mr. Monkey's mementos. So this is great. So the event is this weekend. Yes. It is. July 9th. The, yeah. So it is the eighth annual Midwest Facial Hair Showdown presents Horror Ball to Prom Night. Yeah. Chance. So it's our it's our sequel. Because we've already had a horror ball, so now it's like this, you know, the sequel to horror ball one. So it's prom so, night. So what right. was horror yeah. ball one? It was just the horror ball. You, I was trying to get anybody and everybody to come as whatever they wanted to. We had a lot of clowns. Um, we had uh, a guy on stilts came in and he actually was sitting on the bar <laughs> because he couldn't, you know, oh, he was stuck. Yeah. You know, with the stilts and everything, he barely could get inside the building and stuff. But uh, he just sat on the bar. Old uh, brains won best in show on that one, which was uh, a chainsaw that we made up, that we painted up and stuff. Nice. Yeah. He, won so he, he wait. He won best in show with sea hops. Sea hops. No. Chops. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To think about that one, like, what's a sea hop? Chop. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, there's a video somewhere where he uh he he chops his own thing off on the table of the in front of the judges. His wiener? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what it looks like when you it, like he turned around and just started hacking away. So um that does sound like horror. You should do that. No. Come on, do it. It'll be funny. Go get some scissors or something. Shut up. <laughs> so, he, so yeah, he'll be back competing, I, I believe, Saturday. So nice. That'd be yeah. good to see old Josh Barefoot Brains. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. So do you so this is gonna be prom night. You are you expecting or uh are you gonna dress up in prom attire? I will be I will be in my uh my suit jacket and like a business, you know, like a suit. And um, we'll have a photo booth and stuff. You can take like prom pictures and stuff nice. behind it. So, so it's I like, like so it's basically like a, a prom themed kind of thing, but horrorish. So there, you're yeah. You're any any horror? I mean, anything. I mean, that opens it up to whatever you want to dress up like. All right, I mean, so you're you're encouraging everyone to dress up in some type of horror costume. So, is this a kid friendly event or not? Yes, it is kid friendly. Yeah. All right, so bring your kids, make them dress up too. Kids always love dressing up, so yeah, just, just get your kids, dump them. some fake blood on them, and then just bring them. Yeah, right. Yeah, so speedo like speedos will only be when you compete. It's the only time you can have it out. So no, no wandering around in speedos all night, Josh Barefoot Brains. Right, <laughs> right. That so, is a war in itself. <laughs> so that, I mean, that's the only. That's the only thing they put on it is just why you compete so right. but yeah it's down at 316 champs which is our area code but it, they've also included it in the name um champs? it's just yeah 316 champs okay. so um it's uh just a bar and grill and they have a big outdoor area where you can play horseshoes and cornhole and i think we're gonna have ladder golf there what's I don't know ladder golf um, so it has three stages and you have like usually golf balls and they're connected to a string and you throw it and it has a level of to, points. Yeah. You I try mean, to like throw them and you try to wrap them around the bars, but you know, there's yeah. three bars. It's some people call it a hillbilly golf or, um, what else? Aaron should totally golf. know what that is. Yeah. I mean, I, that's just regular golf to me, hillbilly golf, right? <laughs> but, so, yeah, uh, it'll there'll be a set of that out there. I believe we'll have that set out there to play. Um, we'll have some vendors, um, such as Honest Amish will be there vending. Never heard of them. Me, yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, so will happen? the actual event be inside? Yes, the event's inside, and since you'll have, you know, 
you obviously have products. You'll need to probably be inside because it's supposed to be about 95 degrees. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So we, so we'll start setting up at 11. So if you want to kind of get your spot together. Might be good to get there earlier than later. What time does the actual doors for the event open? Two? Uh, registration starts at two. And the comp starts at four. Cool. Yep. And have you done events at this location before? Yes. Yeah, so last year, we, last year's comp was there. Oh, all right. So it worked yeah. out really, it worked out really good for us, even though we were kind of wanting it to be outside, but it started raining. So luckily it was big enough indoors to keep us all in there. So they have a uh, stage and stuff, or you just kind of. Yeah, they have a little stage because they do karaoke nights and stuff. Oh, so they got nice. a stage and um, we got uh, Caveman and uh, Jackson are going to be our MCs. And then we have the five judges that have been announced. Um, we got um, the guy who goes by Asshole. I don't know if you know. <laughs> you know him? He's from Wicked Whiskers. Uh, he's actually... Uh, he actually just recently uh, had a heart attack and uh, coded three times. Oh my but, god! How long yeah. ago? Um, it was before Springfield and stuff. It was it was about three. I want to say three weeks before Lettington or Farmington. Oh happened. my gosh! That wasn't yeah. that long ago. <laughs> no. So yeah, I have it. There's a sticker on the back. We were selling them at the comp. It says not even a. Heart attack can stop this asshole. So that's, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I like that. Wow. But uh, yeah, we got him. We got Tumbleweed out of um, Beard Mob, North Texas. Um, and then we have Dennis Morgan coming from Washington. Dennis is, Morgan, uh, what a what a lame name! Like everybody else has cool names, and then you got Dennis Morgan. <laughs> hi, I'm Dennis Morgan. Dennis Morgan. I'm a, hi, I'm Dennis Morgan. This is this is asshole and caveman. <laughs> Morgan, freaking Dennis, step up your thing, Dennis. Get a better name. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know what it, I. I can't remember if I asked him what his his nickname was or not. And then um, you can just give him one; it'll be fine. Well, then then we have. Um, I do. Why do I keep forgetting people? I keep doing their trophies and stuff, and I. There's tumbleweed. Um, Oh, El Chapo will be there. How would you uh, forget El Chapo? I he's now now he's in Texas, but he represents, I believe, still Detroit. Oh, he's still rep- representing he's Detroit. Always going to represent Detroit. Yeah, this is his love. I mean, even though, yeah, he's he he just transplanted down here to Dallas about the same time I came down to Austin. So, are you El Chapo? I am not. Okay. I was wondering, y'all moved to Texas at the same time. I was thinking something, something wasn't adding up here. <laughs> and then our, our last judge is he's um, he's part of the foundation, the Lacey Lamb Foundation. His his name is Chuck, but he goes by Shrek. So freaking Dennis Morgan has the worst name of everybody on your judges. <laughs> Even the charity guy has a cool name. <laughs> that's his right. That's his uh, writer name. He's part of. Um, uh, like a uh, the VFW post that they go riding and stuff on their motorcycles. That's so cool. it's Shrek and Fiona. Is 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 Kathy, who's, who's Lexi's mom. So are they green? Oh. No, oh, they're okay. not green. I was just I was just kind of curious. So you brought that up already. Who is your charity that you're going to be working with this year? It'll be Lexi's Lamb Foundation. Nice. And, and um, this is a charity you've worked with before. Yeah, this will be our, I believe, third. Third time for our actual comp, um, which is how we, the first time we did a comp for them is how right after that they became members of the club and been with us ever since. Cool. So they had a, um, uh, Kathy had uh, Lexi, who you see there in the picture. She was, I, uh, I think it was only 18 months old when she passed away from a brain ca- from brain cancer so that's terrible dude yeah it's well, lex lexi's story we can 
goat. Yeah. Um, she was born uh, eight weeks premature on uh, June 30th, 2006, about eight weeks before her birth. They found out that uh, she was going to have some disabilities. Um, her second sonogram uh, done around 24 weeks showed Alexis had no femur bones in her legs and mom had extra and amniotic fluid in the womb. Uh, we were then sent to a doctor who specialized in high-risk pregnancies for more tests after another setting room was completed. It was confirmed that Alexi had no femur bones, and the doctor gave her several possible diagnoses. As in the story, I could go on for a while, yeah. it looks like, but yeah. You got the idea. It's Yeah. It was a rough, it's rough. Yeah. Yeah, her brother who you saw there, in that picture, he just recently got a tattoo on his uh, forearm, remembering her. That's cool. <laughs> How old was he when he got the tattoo? He looks super young in the picture. Yeah, well, hes I think he's 20 now. Okay, I was like, this child wouldn't get a tattoo. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. yeah, if you want to know more about it, you can go to uh, Lexislam.org uh, for more information. So, but yeah, you, but how did you guys get, how did you guys, I mean, get hooked up with them initially? Um, it was, it was more, it uh, it just happened to be like a friend of a friend. So they were like, Hey, I'm on the board of this organization. What do you guys think? And we voted on it. And, uh, when I contacted them, they didn't really realize what they were like, what, what do we have to do? And I said, nothing. You just show up and talk about your charity and then we do all the work on there which is it still amazes me how people like even every new charity that we'll do they don't understand that it's a facial hair competition and we do the work and at the end of all of it we just give them a check yeah they they feel like they got to do a whole lot of stuff when really all we ask them to do is advertise yeah, I mean, hey, that's if they want to help, let them help. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, of course, the more involved they are and the more they help out, the, the more people that will be there. And, and you know, and it's kind of like a symbiotic like relationship where you know, the people that are coming to these that they bring in, this is a whole new world for them, like experiencing a beard competition, you know, and it's. I, I, Every person that I've met in this scenario that you're explaining, like just they come up to you later in the evening and we're like, wow, I didn't realize there were these things that were happening. And right. know, then you, then you tell the story about, you know, especially with you, Omar, who's been to a million and a half competitions, <laughs> you know, you just, you start spewing off. Well, yeah. I mean, you, you tell them the facts like, yeah, there's a competition every weekend somewhere, you know, you're always traveling to them. Yeah. And, I mean, yeah, obviously the, Unfortunately, post COVID now, um, it's slowed me down uh, quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm still doing your thing though. Yeah. I mean, we, my last one was Springfield. So that one was fun. That's on my birthday every year. So (laughs) every year, right on your birthday. I'm pretty pretty close. I've been there. I don't know. I can't even tell you how many times I've been to Springfield for a comp. Because I started in... 42 times. No, only, Aaron. They, they just had the, what, their 10th, right? Or 11th? Or was it? I think. Yeah. Maybe 11. So you've been to 111 competitions there. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's I think I, really I'm pretty sure I've, I've been to 100 competitions or more. That's awesome. Now. That's how many Aaron's been to this year so far. <laughs> this <Yeah>. year. I've <laughs> been to, so I, I did count the other day. The best I can come up with is I've been to 127. Wow. This year or total no, in your life? Total in my life since 2014. But obviously that number will continue to go up. But yeah, will I, it? That's still a pretty good number, I thought. 127. I don't, I don't know. That's pretty weak. You can do better. <sighs> I will. <laughs> For you, I will. I will do better. It'll be 128 by this time next week. How about oh, bah, bah, wow. I know. Balls to the so, wall. They back say. to the competition, Omar. Oh. Yes. Uh, sir. Do, do you have anything planned for uh, Friday night by chance? So, Friday night, we're going to have a pre party at Club Billiards. Okay. Um, 
uh, uh, Bones has set that up to where there's going to be like a tournament going on and the money from there is actually going to go to the charity as well. So there's going to be a pool tournament where it'll it'll be teams or singles. They haven't decided. We got to see how many people show up first. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It'll be our, it'll be my first time there. First time playing pool. I don't think you're going to win the the tournament. Yeah. You're not going to do Uh, very good. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, if we go with slop, then I will, I'll win. Yeah, Make sure you put that black it. ball in the hole first. Yeah. Yeah, that's always the goal. I'm really good at knocking the white ball in. That's my favorite. Goal, <laughs> like play knock soccer the or in. hockey. Which yeah. Is. I like hockey. Goal. That's what I do every time. Yeah. And then uh, Sunday we'll have a brunch at the uh, VFW Post. I think it's 415. Okay. It's the Post. Uh, I want to say it starts at 10 and it's a, it's a buffet of it's uh, what they've told me on the food. It's a pretty good deal. And it's, uh, about $8 Okay, and I think it's just as eat as much as you want. And it goes to benefit the post. So, mm-hmm. and the post is where Kathy and Chuck or Shrek and Fiona, that's the, that's their post that they belong to. So. It's all kind of thing. It's all kind of encompassed in itself. So, so are all all these uh, locations for all these events are they relatively close to one another? Or mm-hmm. I'm just yeah, saying, cool. I think it's all. I mean, I want to say it's a. I think it's north of the venue, and Club Billiards I think is also north of the venue. And then your Saturday night post comp. Food is going to be at the Duda Diner. Is that <laughs> no? I mean, no. You want to get mm-hmm. into the Duda Diner early because it's it's busy. Um, we normally have gone to uh, Bite Me Barbecue after the comp, or you uh, come back to Monkey HQ. Everybody's going back to Omar's house after the comp. So Every- usually, what time out. in the past? you've had these competitions, you know, like, so you, you start pretty early in the day. What should someone expect it to be over by? Is that like one of those like seven, eight, nine o'clockers? Yeah. I mean, it all depends on how many people, but we try to get in and out as quick as we can. Cause I don't know about you guys, but standing around for eight hours gets yeah. kind of old. So yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's cool to be able to hang out with everybody, but at the same time, it's kind of like, okay, let's let's do our Moving thing, on. and then we're not Get worried about what we got to do. So, <clears throat> so other than the comp, what do you got going on? Are you what's your Are you planning on heading out to the nationals this year? Um, I would love to. I, I got to see if it's in the budget because that's November, right? Yeah, yes, it's November twelfth in Casper, Wyoming. Yeah, that'll be quite a drive. Um, the well, the first before so Saturday, I actually have a um, ice cream eating contest I'm involved in, um, which is <laughs> it's a brain freeze eating competition or what? I forget how it's called, but this I've weekend. It, yeah, like right before the comp. Wow, you're. Double dip in there, bud. Hold on now. So where is this ice cream eating contest? It's it- in it's in Newton, Kansas. It's about 20 minutes north of us. So you're it'll, it'll be my I've won it three times, so this will be my fourth time to try to win it again. Wh- when is this? What time? Uh it starts at 1 30. I gotta oh be there at one and then register and then I gotta get cleaned up and come to registration and help out by two o'clock. So it's three minutes of, of much ice cream as I can eat. So what's the most ice cream you've eaten? Um, last year was 13 cups and a bite. Is it the sand Creek summer days, great brain freeze and ice cream yep. social? Is this yep. it? Yeah, that's it. Wow. How many people usually uh, sign up for this bad boy? Um, five. Is that you? No, I've never even seen any of those people. <laughs> I don't think like that, I don't think that's actually. Right I don't think that's actually the event. 
Because the first one that I went to, um, we just got done with the beard competition up there. I like um, that. Your logo here. <laughs> Your logo here. Why isn't Bearded Monkey Social Club? Yeah, why aren't you sponsoring this thing? So your logo can be there. Like I said, we don't, we don't, we don't have a lot of dough. <laughs> but yeah, you have a lot of ice cream in your belly yeah. after it. Oh, so how did you how did you get hooked up uh, with this ice cream eating contest? Did you just knew about it because it was local, or um, was, so they were like invite you? Like you look like an ice cream eating guy. You you come here and, and <laughs> so the uh, the the my first year of doing a competition, I called all kinds of venues trying to get. Um, best prices and stuff like that because right. nobody knew of nobody knew about it kind of thing still um and that was one of the one of the places that guy is on the board of this sand creek summer days thing and was like hey there's this guy who does this and they contacted me and we did a, a facial air competition real quick and then we got done and i went over to the food truck and got some tacos and a beer and um i was just sitting there and this guy comes up and he's like hey you need to do this ice cream eating thing and i was like no i'm good like i'm just trying to enjoy my my hot tacos here and he was like no come on there's a there's a trophy and all this stuff and i'm like "Eh." and then i finally he wouldn't let it go he's like it's gonna get ready to start i go well you pay my entry fee and then i'll go (laughs) he's like he's like there's no entry fee and i go okay and so I'm, I ate my tacos real quick and drank my beer and I got up there and sat down on the table and they're like, okay, this is so-and-so and la la And we got this trophy and $200 on the line. And I was like, nobody said anything about 200 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you left that part of the story out. Yeah, yeah, man. That's like the most important part there. So I, I won by two bites on that one. Um, and then the next year I, it was, they bumped it up to, I think it was two minutes again. And that was when, uh, I think that was when brains and caveman and asshole all were with me because I thought that anybody could just show up and compete. Well, apparently there's a burger shop there where, uh, you got to register, but I automatically have a seat since I won. Gotcha. So you, you, so they, so I'm enough. like, hey, let's go do this and eat these tacos. So, you know, your mouth's on fire and stuff. So they're just sitting there all mad at me <laughs> because they didn't think I was pulling a prank on, which I wasn't. I was, I was, I sincerely thought anybody could join into it. So, um, and then last year, the, I thought the guy next to me was going to win, uh, cause he didn't have any front teeth. So I thought that was kind of an advantage. Right. But so, it wasn't. Nope. I got him by, I think, two cups, actually. Wow. So I'm going to put in the show notes for this uh, down below uh, all the information for this, too. So if you, by some chance, want to go to this festival and and go head to head against Omar for this ice cream eating competition. <laughs> Have you Did you look it up? Can you can you still register for the ice cream eating contest? Yeah, I have, I have the information all right here. All right, so yeah, so I mean, anybody can take down the champion Omar at yeah. the ice cream eating contest. So this year, you? I know that he's moved it up to three minutes. So three, three minutes is as much ice cream. So what do you think? How many how many cups of ice cream do you think you can eat in three minutes? What what do you what's your goal? Well, uh, I think I think sixteen or seventeen would be a prime number to get huh? get done. How big are these cups? They're the, you know, the the cups that come with the little wooden spoon. Okay. Well, the picture that's, that they, they showed on the thing. That's all you get the little wooden spoon. And then there's a judge. It? Yeah. And then there's a judge behind you, and they tap you on the shoulder when you're you're good to grab the next one. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. So I usually I'm get not- the first five or six down and with one, like, I get just one bite a cup usually. Wow. This is I wish your beer competition was happening at this ice cream thing. <laughs> ice cream thing like, kicked it off. Like, well, the, the thing is, is it's it's part of what, what I'm reading here. It's just part of the uh, 
here i'll pull this up real okay, quick yeah pull that thing up um all right so the great brain freeze it's part of the sand creek festival um it's the sand creek summer the summer days so this is yeah. this is the website for that um apparently has something to do with sasquatches so this would be a perfect thing for you to tie your beard competition into and have it at this event well, we, we like we we've had it twice there, and then they just canceled it all together because we couldn't get um, enough people to compete. Yeah. I mean, we went we went all over that place. So this and, wasn't your main competition. This was like a secondary competition. So this yeah. was a few years ago when it seemed like Omar was putting on a competition like every like every other weekend. Every yeah, I think there was one year we had we threw. Seven comps, I think. Yeah, you were you're a madman a few years ago. They have a disco yeah. costume contest as well. Yeah. And then there was a year I think we hit Bree and I, we hit twenty five comps in one year. So um it was we've done quite a bit. It's uh it's a lot. But yeah, um I I enjoy going to them and seeing everybody. Look at all these different things that go on here. They have a belly <laughs> flop, tr- uh, uh, wiener dog races. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Grind Sand Creek. Is it about skating on your skateboard competition? It, what it looks like. Saucy Glee's barbecue on. contest. So, yeah, oh. this is their four, their fourth year of doing it. And they're... Wow. It's kind of like how Wichita has the River Fest, where they bring in a bunch of bands and have a bunch of a lot of stuff going on for about. I think they do it two weeks. Mm-hmm. They cram all their stuff in three days. Well, we need to send this interview with you to the Chamber of Commerce and have them spit it all over the county. Mike, well, so. Look what you're you're missing out. You have the ice cream eating champion. And you, you're not even corresponding with his own event. So yeah, yeah. and you're not. You yeah, everyone needs to go to on the whole time, like sitting yeah, on the like, horror ball. This, this is like what? Would you say this was? You've won four years in a row, or you're going? No, for if I win this, if I win Saturday, it'll be four years in a row. Yeah, this is a three-time ice cream eating champion, and he needs to be. You know, I don't as such. I don't use. I don't. Hard, I hardly ever eat desserts or anything like that. Any sweets yeah i try my i try my best not to because you know your day is coming (laughs) yeah Yeah, where i I mean you yeah it's it's it plays a little bit of havoc on the old stomach trying to get that much ice cream down but so is your hero joey chestnut is that who you look up to (laughs) do you want to be like joey chestnut when you grow up (laughs) uh i don't think so who i don't know if i can actually say i know did, who Joey Chestnut see, is. The, did you see what he did dog. this weekend? Yeah, dude. He ate 63 hot dogs and he freaking choked that dude out. Why was yeah. he doing it? <laughs> Why was he eating hot oh. dogs? <laughs> oh, yeah. That, okay. Well, yeah. No, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. No, no. I'm not I'm not on that level of the Nathan hot be. dog. You could be. But they're for <laughs> ice cream, though. But for ice cream, Joey Chestnut eats everything. The hot dog one's the only one that actually gets televised. Well, did, there was a guy I saw where he drank a gallon of uh, lemonade. Oh, it was an it was cool. a it was a Nathan thing too. He had a he had the big O sponsor on it. It was I mean he drank a whole gallon and I don't even know. People it was I doing that kind of stuff. You can so you ever try to drink a whole gallon of milk? Uh, no. I've drank I've drank, uh, I've drank a two gallon of uh or. Or is it a whole thing of Sprite once? Yeah, you should oh. you should sit down and try to drink a gallon of milk and see what happens. Why don't why can't he stand up, Aaron? I mean, you can. Why does well, he have you to stand up and drink a gallon of milk? It'll be way better that way. Yeah. There you go. I have a I've I've have a feeling it's pretty close to eating that much ice cream. So do you throw up after eating that much ice cream? Does it turn into cottage cheese real quick in your stomach? Oh god, Aaron. No, but it's milk. not it's not the greatest smell on your mustache after it dries and oh yeah, I bet yeah. you're a mess, huh? Is yeah. that why you trimmed your mustache right now? It's so you can be ready right for this. He's been he's prepping for the ice cream eating contest. That's why he well, you got, I mean if I had like you know Aaron's mustache, <laughs> you gotta think that first scoop, all that hair is going oh, in I your mouth. 
all ice cream. Yeah, yeah but you cool. could prep. He could wear the clips on there on the side. Yeah. Pull it up. Yeah, that'd make a great yeah. picture in the paper. I got clips and you just like style it up real good. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You could do the the handlebar and then handlebar and just ice cream. Ice cream everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. So I don't know if yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever done any of the pie eating contests or stuff, like the whipped cream and stuff. It smells awful after I, I can imagine. If you can't get it all out of your mustache, it that it dries up there and that's all you can smell is like fermented milk. A couple of years ago I tried to like I wanted to start training to do the hot dog eating contest and Natalie yeah. like, she refused. She said she was not gonna get behind this. So well, you yeah, should come do you eat a lot of hot dogs? I I I do anything I put my mind to. I could shove a bunch of dogs down my throat. We next year for the Maple Almost Festival, you should come started. for the pancake eating competition. <laughs> Ooh, what? The pancake, pancake eating, eating cup. Where? At the Maple Festival in Chardon. <gasps> That's a good idea. We had a oh, where were we were in Pittsburgh and they had a pierogi eating contest at that one beer competition in Sean Lundin, What? I think. Wait, Remember? when? We were in Pittsburgh, you and I. We judged the one we judged together. And they wait a minute. And they had a pierogi and intermission. Eating. Maybe you wandered off or something. Maybe maybe you uh I don't know. He maybe obviously was, doesn't remember. Yeah, they had a pierogi <laughs> eating contest during intermission at that competition. Hmm. And you missed out. Pierogies are amazing. Oh, I, I think I I'm vaguely remembering it now because I think I maybe was asking you about it afterwards. I asked if you they were good. They were amazing. I know, I know what the one down in Nolanville. They do the that beer chug. Yeah, that was that was <clears throat> Riley won that one. I I tip my hat off to him for that because that was re that was quick. Because <laughs> once I saw him, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna sit this thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna drink this um, thing, but no, go yeah. on my way here. <laughs> <laughs> Some people, I I did that when I worked uh, at, at a club downtown. Uh, we used to do that all the time. Like we'd just fill up like these size cups of beer, and just if you beat me, you had to pay for them. Yeah. So there's some people yeah. who can just down it in yep. one gulp, and it's yeah. I, I don't know how he could do that. It was the craziest thing. As fast as you could just pour pour it out, he could like open his throat and just dump it in. It was it was the craziest thing. And I that's what I that. call a sticky situation. That yeah. that's going to be Omar Saturday right before the competition. A sticky situation, man. I'm so bummed. I'm going to miss this. <laughs> you have no idea. Like I, I want to be there rooting you on. I wish this thing was huh? going on been... at the competition. I, I would be screaming for you so freaking hard. <laughs> I would be a. a you would yeah. people would know that you're a three time champion. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, I'll, be your, I'll be your hype man the whole time. Get your <laughs> crown and everything. Like freaking champ is here, y'all. What's crazy about um their trophies or the first two trophies that I got from there, they're they're like some of the biggest trophies I have. Wow. Even with all the all the beard competition ones that I've gone through, they're still they're the biggest ones. <laughs> the one this year that is actually bigger than the first year. So man. Gosh, this is awesome. This is like, this has been like, I, I love how, like when we talk to people and especially, I mean, we've been friends for years, but I didn't like, know about the ice cream thing y- y- to unlock these like little side yeah. tangents and stories of like the fun things that, I mean, our guests and our friends do that we had no idea about. And then how it just all kind of ties in with the whole the whole weekend of you know what's going on this weekend. Uh, yeah, down somehow it's always on the same. It's been it's like we change dates and it still ends up like interfering with um, the last two years. Anyway, it's been interfering with the competition. So I take a little heat from Miss Monkey because you know she's like really. Oh, you're the no. champ. You have yeah. to go defend your title now. I we'll mean, be like your. We'll help you train. We just the Miss Monkey yeah. will just you t- have Shut her talk to us. Screen. We'll be yeah. we'll be the buffer zone between. Well, she she runs. You know, she her and Kathy run everything on the comp. So uh, you're not even needed. You got ice yeah. cream to go eat. You just got to eat ice cream. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna. It's not gonna. It doesn't feel great. You know, 
It really doesn't. <laughs> but, but winning does, and that's all that matters. Yeah. You better go win this freaking contest, Omar. I know. I'm going to be bound if I end up losing to somebody. Just do it for Johnny. Gosh. Yeah. For Johnny? Yeah, do it for is Johnny. That, is that what it's in the chat? No. No. Just do for, it for Oh, for uh, the hot dog dude? <laughs> no. Oh. Almost. Or it's getting warmer, though. You're talking about Rodriguez? <laughs> no, strike three, you're out, but you can go with the outsider. Stay gold, pony boy. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny's right here. Johnny Trafcone. Oh. All right, Omar. All right, well, well, yeah. There you go. <laughs> we're gonna have to wrap I, this up. I had up. no idea. Yeah, it was yeah. we're done with the show. <laughs> yeah. Right on. All right, Omar. Well, thank you for stopping by and telling us all about your ice cream. We were we were pretty much done no with you until you dropped that bomb on us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you railed the whole rest of the show. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> It happens, no, I guess. It was awesome. Yeah, but everyone, right, don't don't forget July 9th at 2 p.m. Yeah. Uh, the eighth annual Midwest Facial Hair Showdown Horror Ball to Prom Night. Come dressed in your uh, as your favorite scary person. Bring the kids, put some mm-hmm. blood on them or something, and yeah. yep. have a good time. Yeah, yeah they're good until it. 10 o'clock. Kids got to be on after 10, but we're usually got way gone by then. So awesome. All, All right, buddy. Omar. Well, uh, good luck this weekend with everything from the beer you. to the ice cream eating, and uh, let us know uh, how everything turns out. We'll do. Appreciate All right, Omar. See you later, buddy. man. Yep. Right, see see you later. Thanks for having me. Yep. No problem. <laughs> Anytime. Wow, it was awesome. We don't have much time left, but that was pretty cool. I was excited about. It. I was like, wait a minute, what's this? We are. I like for a moment. I'm like, so there's a ice cream con- eating contest. How are we not? Why is this not on the event page? But then it was wasn't there, so never mind. Yeah, but, no, but the, I will post information about it. So if anyone who does watch this, um, go to the YouTube video when it gets posted. Uh, since the video or since the competition is this weekend, usually what I've been doing is because uh, previous guests their competitions are weeks down the road. Mm-hmm. And since Omar's is this weekend, usually I post them on Saturday morning. But uh, I'll try to get Omar's up a lickety split and uh get the information out there so why isn't it it's sp- sp- split lickety 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 yeah <laughs> that was a tough one i was like I what know. did i get myself into hold on yeah <laughs> lickety split but yeah so i'll try to get the uh, the video all edited and up by tomorrow night and so then that way if anyone who's watching this wants to get more information about the uh not only the event but also if you happen to be going into town and you maybe have a little extra time and you want to swing out and watch him eat ice cream or go cheer Omar on, go cheer Omar on or go kick his ass. Whoa. Whoa. There it is. Scott's Scott's plan on going, coming to Wichita. It sounds like Scott loves eating ice cream really fast. No, it hurts. <laughs> my, I don't get head freeze. I get like, it hurts my throat. Gosh, throat freeze, throat freeze. Well, that's pretty much it. We were going to do some competition and stuff, but we're out of time. Yeah, we're out of time. So, but uh, hey, we didn't do this, but hey, make sure you go over to honestamish.com, use promo code Talking Beards. You can save 15% off your order and you can save on shipping as well if you order over $35 because you will get free shipping. That's pretty good. That's it. You were so passionate. You were being so honest. I was. I was always being honest. So, yeah, thank you for uh, watching Talking Beards tonight and learning all about Omar's ice cream eating uh, competition and his competition that's coming up this Saturday. So, uh, yeah, thank you, everybody, for watching. I'm Aaron D. Johnston. I'm out. I'm here. Eric, it's good to see you, too. Um, We appreciate you and everyone else that is uh, regularly in the chat room watching the show. Um, it's, it's, It's why we do it. We do it for the people who... You know, who are really into the community and who support the community and stuff like that. And we appreciate you guys tuning in every week. And for everyone who downloads uh, the podcast or watches the YouTube uh, interviews and stuff like that. I mean, we try, I try to get as much different content out there for different people because I don't know what everyone likes and what everyone wants, but everybody wants ice cream eating. 
I guess, but, <laughs> but we do appreciate the people who do take the time out of their Tuesday nights to come and join us here. So, but uh, for those of you who aren't regular viewers or whatever, and you want more information about us, go to talkingbeards.com. Uh, you can watch the show live over there every week, but can't participate in the chat room yet. I haven't figured out how to embed a chat one player. day, one, one day. day, one day technology will catch up. It will. Uh, but thank you to everyone who watched. Thank you, Omar, uh, for being here tonight and, uh, good luck this weekend. And if you guys can, uh, go out to the eighth annual Midwest facial hair showdown, that would be awesome. But awesome. I'm Scott Sakura. You can find me at Scott Sakura on all social media, Aaron D Johnston. You can find him on social media at Aaron D Johnston. I'm there. He's there. That's it. That's it. All right, everybody. Have a good week and thank we'll see you soon. Okay, thank, bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Everyone says you're welcome. Okay, goodbye. Thanks for tuning in to Talking Beards. Make sure you go over to honestamish.com and use promo code TALKINGBEARDS to get 15% off your order. Don't forget to tune in live next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern at talkingbeards.com.